What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to do a quick video showing you guys Ghost Rider. So as I stated in the intro of the video, I want to show you guys Ghost Rider. And if you don't know what it is, it's basically a text editor for the Markdown language. And you can use it on Windows and Linux as well as Mac OS. I know for sure it's in majority of the Linux repositories or Linux major distributions of Linux repositories. You can install it directly from the command line. I'll show you guys how to actually do it. But I really wanted to show you guys this application because I know that the markdown language is becoming more and more popular. People are starting to actually learn it and using it, especially on like GitHub as far as like the readme documentation. A lot of that stuff is done in markdown. And so I thought it would be a cool idea just to show you guys this open source editor that will allow you to edit the markdown language. And pretty much it's a plain text markup format that was actually created by a guy named John Gruber. And so let's go on and go to the GitHub page for Ghostwriter so you guys can see the cool things about this editor. So let's get started. Okay, cool. So I'm at the Ghostwriter's website. This is the GitHub page for the actual application. So this will walk you guys through how to install it on whatever operating system that you're actually using. As you can see, this is all the files. And first off, let me tell you, it's uh, created by We or Turtle or Weird Turtle. Uh, that's the person that actually created. That's their handle on github i thought that was super cool but as it said as it says right here under the about it says ghostwriter is a cross-platform aesthetic distraction free markdown editor and it's under the gpl 3.0 license and if we go down a little further this is where i want to kind of read a little bit about it it basically says uh ghostwriter is a windows and linux text editor for markdown which is a plain text markup format created by john gruber for more information about markdown please visit john gruber's website and this is his website so you guys want to check it out that's the person that actually came up with the language and of course i'll put all these links down in the description of the video so i can give these people credit as well as you guys can find more information or find information about what i'm showing you guys but it says ghostwriter provides a relaxing relaxing distraction free writing environment whether your masterpiece be the next blog post your school paper or your nano rhymo novel for a tour of his features, please visit the Ghostwriter project page. So you can go check that out as well. But here are some of the screenshots right here. So it says you can view the screenshots at this location. That's the Ghostwriter project page. And I'll go down and open it up so you guys can see. But it says uh, documentation. Here is the reference to the documentation. So you can check that out if you need to. Uh, but if we go down a little further, this gets into the installation now you have uh windows and you have linux so uh we're gonna focus in on the linux port but if you guys want to check out the ghostwriter installer there is an installer you know all you have to do is download the exe install it and it should work and then there's also a portable version that allows you to put this application on like a thumb drive that way you can take it with you and edit it from wherever you are now under Linux they have all the different ways you can install it they have a PPA you can add you can add the repository if you want to uh, and just quickly install it and that way when you get updates it'll update through sudo apt install update or whatever now i've seen it in the repository so i know it's in the repositories under ubuntu as well as orch linux i know it's in the repositories i'm not sure how often they keep it up to date that way as far as the packages go but if you want the most up-to-date version then you can install a ppa so that's our option for you if you want to keep it up to date okay and so if we scroll down a little further there is a mac install for usb free bsd install uh and then you can build it from source if you want to 
And if we keep going down a little further, there is the Mac instruction. So if you need to install it on Mac OS, then there is a way to install it on Mac OS. But I won't touch all of that. If you interested or if you're using one of those distributions or one of those different OSs, then there they have the instructions here on how to actually use it or install it. But uh, here is some of the command line usage as well as the portable mode, how to actually set that up. Uh, you can install it that way, you know what I'm saying? And then right here it says additional markdown processes. So they have the wiki, uh, the contribute, you can contribute through the GitHub page, um, and then the roadmap. So this is what they're looking at. This is the goals, and they need help wanted for you know certain areas like the Mac OS uh, port installer. They need help for that. So if you want to help this project or help push along this project, then they do. They are requesting help. So this is a good way to get some things on your resume if you want to actually learn how to program or if you're just getting into programming and you want to put something on your resume as something that you've actually worked on then you can take a shot at this actual application and see if you can help out with the project and push it forward and if your code gets accepted you know what i'm saying you'll be listed as a contributor of the actual application so just wanted to let you guys know how that works but let's go to the ghostwriter page so you can see this gives you a little bit more information on it you know distraction free writing they have themes built into it uh they have a live html preview which is what i was going to show you on another page so they do have a live view which is super cool you know what i'm saying and then you can also use this thing as just a regular text editor it could replace um your notepad or notepad plus plus or any of those text editors out there but it says uh export in multiple formats so you got pandoc uh multi markdown and cmark ghostwriter will automatically detect their installation allowing you to export to html word uh odt pdf and more and then here is some simple navigation, uh, focus mode. So that's super cool how it kind of changes the color uh, based on what you're focusing on. So that's what they mean by distraction free. You know, it'll bring, it'll highlight what you're actually working on, the current line that you're actually working on. So that's super cool as well. And if we scroll down, you know, you can custom theme uh, creation if you want to. Uh, Hemingway mode so that's their uh, documented session statistics which is super cool I really like that they have that they have the words you know the amount of characters sentences paragraphs you know all that information of the actual document is located there so I know a lot of people that actually write things and they need to you know a quick count of the words and everything that's in the document so this super cool application i'm not going to show you a look that much more uh but let's go on and install it and so i can show you guys how to actually get it get it up and running and start using this thing so let's switch over to my virtual machine right fast and get this thing going Okay, so I have my virtual machine up. This is Ubuntu 20, which is the XFCE version of Ubuntu. Now let's go on and get to the install. And what I wanna do is install it from the command line. So let's go to the terminal right fast and zoom in. And the first thing you want to do when you install in any new application is update the system. Now I know this system is up to date, but I'm gonna run it anyway so you guys can see. Uh, so let's run sudo apps updates and press enter. And let's type in our sudo password and press enter. And then this will check to see if the repositories or or re, it will refresh the repositories on the system and check for any new packages. And if there are any new packages, it'll show up there. And then you can run the upgrade command. Now, as you can see on mine, it says all packages are up to date. So we're good to go. There are no updates. And I updated this system yesterday, so I knew it didn't have any updates. But anyway, let's go on and install the actual application right fast ghostwriter now let's type sudo apt install and then let's type ghostwriter and the package name is just like it's one word ghostwriter 
now before i run this let me go down and open up the software center because i wanted to show you guys the actual package within there so you guys can see you know that the package is in the main repository but let's just wait for it to you know pop up it'll refresh as well download you know all the ratings and application ratings as well as the images and all that good stuff uh so let's hit the search bar and type screen and i apologize ghost writer and we should be able to find that application it should pop up in a second there we go so distraction free text editor for markdown there we go so all you have to do is hit install from there but you guys know i like to install things from the command line but you can look at the ratings and i just wanted to show you the repository that's the source right there so you bunch to focal universe so that's the main repository let's go on and close the software center though I just wanted to show you that there and then go on and install it from the command line. So let's go on and get this going. Uh, and it shouldn't take too long to install. It's not that big of an application, but I'll skip ahead if it takes a little time. Okay, cool. So the installation is done for Ghostwriter. Let's go on and exit out the terminal. Now you can actually use Ghostwriter from the terminal. You can actually run the command and it will open up the application with whatever document that you specify. So if you have a markdown file, you can actually run it from the terminal if you like running things from the terminal. But what I'm going to do is just open it up from the start menu or the whisker menu. And let's just type ghost. There we go. And there we go. Ghost writer. And we'll open up the actual editor. So this is pretty much it. This is what it looks like. Uh, now you can go through and select some themes. You could change up the theme, you know, uh, I kind of like dark theme. So let's try the classic dark theme and press close. And as you can see, that's what it looks like with the dark theme. So, uh, and that's under settings, but let's start at the top left. Uh, but under file, you got new, open, open, recent. So as you open files, it'll start listing them there. There, So you can open up a recent file, just like most applications. Uh, you got your save, save as, rename, reload from disk, export. And that's how you export it to different languages. So as you can see, you can export things to HTML. Uh, and that's the only one I see at the moment. Uh, so let's hit cancel on that but that just shows you you can save a file from there or export it to html and you get to go now if you go let's say undo redo well under edit you got undo redo cut copy paste you know copy html insert image you can insert an image you can also drag and drop images that was one thing i saw you can actually grab an image from a file location and drag it and put it in there so good to go find replace uh sp spell check spell check so that's super cool because a lot of text editors they don't really have a spell checker uh this one does so good to go now if you go to format uh you could format your text you can go bold italic strike through you know html comments so if you click that that'll automatically create the comment for you now let's do that see you can add it'll go on and add everything for you to make a comment within html now under under here as well you got your indent uh unindent block quote you know strip block quote uh bullet list bullet list right there that's the this is the plus or the star this is i'm not sure what that one is i can barely see it oh that's the dash so you could do that or you could do the plus symbol so that's your you know bullet list if you want to do that and then you also have your number list so this the one with the period and this is the one with the close bracket so number list like that and whichever one you select you know it'll continue from there so one two three you know and it'll put it there and then task list and toggle task completes so if you have tasks you know set up different tasks then you can go through and select whichever one and you want to complete it you know that's good to go now under view you have few full, full screen mode you got preview in html now i'm gonna go down and grab some html from the web 
and put it in here so I can show you guys that it actually previews. But Outline Hub, uh, Cheat Sheet Hub, Document Statistics Hub, uh, Session Statistics Hub, uh, Hide Open Hub Window, Increase Font Size, and Decrease Font Size. And then you have your shortcuts. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been paying attention, but there are shortcuts for each command. So if you want to learn those shortcuts, you know that'll help you out. Now under settings, we already looked at themes. So they had a different themes. You got your fonts, you got your application language, uh, style sheets. So if you need a style sheet, uh, preview options, and then preferences. So let's go under preferences right fast. And this will just give you a little more of the information that's with the preferences. So uh, under general, you have your display, uh, a few display settings, uh, file saving settings. So it auto saves backup file on save uh, and in history so remember your history and then you have uh, under your editor uh, tabulation styling uh, typing spell check this is the informational spell check you can change your dictionary so if you needed a different language you may have to install a, a, another language on the system um, but it defaults to American English or whichever language that you're using on the system and then under hub there we go that's the hub settings so windows button layout you know alternate row colors uh right now the only thing that's enabled is the desktop compositing effects uh but you got auto hub or auto hide the hub window when typing auto hide uh, hub window when previewing HTML and then they have the opacity so you could change the opacity settings now let's go down and close that right fast okay cool so next thing let's go down to the bottom I just want to walk through a few of these things now here are your preview options and then under here is the export you can export let me click on preview options just so you guys can see uh, that's the markdown flavor so sundown uh, that's the only one there and then the default you can do github or github dork for the style sheet so let's close that and then right here you can export this basically opens up that same export format so right there good to go then right here is the copy HTML so button you could do that and then right here you can hide the hub window so and right here this is a uh, toggle to live live html preview so if you need to toggle it on and off you know what i'm saying while you're writing your html code that can be toggled on and off just using that button right there now right here is the toggle hemingway mode and then right here is the toggle distraction free mode so if you turn that on that'll actually you know turn on the distraction free mode and then right here, this is the toggle full screen mode. So that'll allow you to open it up in full screen. And that's pretty much all the options I wanted to show you guys. Uh, let me go down and grab a little HTML code just to show you guys the preview of it. Uh, let me get that right fast. Okay, cool. So I threw some HTML code in there just, just right fast. It's basically a hello world, but I just mainly want to show you guys the preview. Uh, so if we go down here, we can toggle on the live HTML preview. So if you open that up or hit that button and let's make this thing a little bigger so you guys can see a little better. Uh, but as you can see, as you type, you know, it'll change in the preview. So you can kind of see what you're typing as you type it. You know what I'm saying? So that's one cool feature about this actual application that I really like. So that's pretty much all i want to show you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed the video go on and check out this application uh it's very good for people that are trying to learn a markdown language this will give you a way to actually get started using it uh with some examples and all that good stuff you can start writing you know the markdown language or you know editing html or exporting markdown to html you know all that good stuff but if you have any questions, leave comments down in the comment boxes below. And of course, keep it techie.